Let it in. Finally. One of the food plots we planted. Looks like it's greening up nice. Finally made it out here. It's late, but uh, I was gonna bring my saddle in here. Climb up in a tree on the edge of a food plot. There's a persimmon tree. It's been dropping for a couple weeks. And uh, it's loaded up with persimmons. I've been dying to get in here to hunt it. There's a tree that blew down on the edge of the plot. And uh, it's like right by the persimmon tree. I'm gonna tuck in that brush on that blow down tree. There's been some dough pretty frequent. I hadn't got pictures in a few days because my camera died, but almost every evening there's some dough in here. So my wind's a little iffy, but I think it's gonna be all right. Especially when we're sitting on the good ground, there's gonna be nowhere for it to go but down. It's extremely warm, but uh, other than this heat, I'm excited to get it out here. Oh, I got deer in front of me here. We planted a little food plot right here. That was a little fawn that was on it. I'm gonna push on through. I got about four or 500 yards actually to go. If I was set up, that deer would be 10 yards. I think it's about to walk back in this opening. Oh, looky there, it's the buck. I guess I'm gonna knock an arrow and try to sneak up there. Some hunt. I wouldn't shoot one of those two bucks just then with anything other than this longbow. But for getting out here super late, that's a fun hunt. All right. Well, we're back. The field was full of bucks last night, young guys that I probably would have shot with my longbow, but I'm gonna carry my compound in here tonight and get up in a tree in my saddle just so it's just a lot easier to get away with movement and be hidden in a tree trying to video and the deer obviously really liking this green food plot and this persimmon tree. It's extremely hot, but there's a good breeze, so I'll have plenty of uh, 
wind cover with the noise get slipping in here and setting up and hopefully it'll keep some of these mosquitoes off of me. fixated on whatever was to my left over there that I didn't even notice that nine point come over to my right. I mean he walked all the way across the food plot and I didn't see him till he was right under the persimmon tree. He's a pretty bug. He's just real young. Be a sweet bug for a kid or my wife or somebody else to shoot. I got something over here in my left though, so. I better get ready. Well, the doe lived. <clears throat> I didn't have time to talk about it out there because the deer just started piling in. I was gonna shoot her and then that little fawn that was in the field, he was so excited, I guess that was his mama. And I just, I got soft, I couldn't do it. It's the only doe that was on the field tonight. Had a great hunt, so. We're supposed to get a front before next weekend. We got the muzzleload next weekend. And me and Cole and John and me and Cole's dad have a uh, permit hunt on this public ground close to where we're at here, so we will see.
You're big. How big are you? I'm speechless. I'm just sitting here with my mouth open. <laughs> He's a monster. Oh my gosh. Look at that deer. 